All right, so now we're going to take the derivative of this. This is going to require a chain rule. So in fact, it's going to require a double chain rule. So first, let's take care of the outside one. So this, there's a fourth power, so that four is going to come down, and then we'll make that a three. So that's the first thing we're going to do. So uh, the, we have a three out there, and we bring the four down in front like this. We have sine of 2x. Now this becomes a third power. So 4 comes down and then subtract 1. But now we have to multiply this by the derivative of the inside. So we have to multiply by the derivative of sine 2x. The derivative of sine is going to be cosine 2x. But don't forget also, this is the second chain rule you have to do. We do the derivative of the outside, which is cosine, and then derivative of the inside, which is going to be a 2. So that's, the, that's what the whole thing looks like. 4 comes down, subtract 1. Inside is still the same here. Then you have to take the derivative of sine. So if we just had the derivative of sine 2x separately, the answer would just be this one here. It's the derivative of sine is cosine. The derivative of the inside is a 2. So now we're going to put all this together. It doesn't matter the order in which you write this, but we have 12 times 2. That's going to be 24. And then if you want to leave the sign like this, that's fine. Or if you like to write it like this, uh, that's also acceptable. And then we put cosine 2x on the end like that. And this right here, uh, that would just end up being your final answer.